date on the app Tinder ended with a man getting robbed and two people in jail. This is a picture of a gun that deputies found in the suspect's car after a Ponte Vedra man says he was tied up and his wallet was stolen. New at 6, Action News Jack's Ben Becker shows us the new crime fighting tool that put the suspects behind bars. This is where the arrest was made late Friday night outside Fruit Cove Middle School. You can see over here where sheriff deputies actually pinned the suspect's vehicle along this fence. There's the damage. It came after the victim in this case swiped right on Tinder, but it turned out they swiped wrong. These are the mugshots of 20-year-old Lexus Triplett and 26-year-old Michael Wheeler. And this was the scene Friday night when deputies arrested the duo after a short chase along Racetrack Road in Jointon Creek. Deputies also found a gun on the floorboard. Dating apps like Tinder, Plenty of Fish, and social media platforms like IG or Facebook and Facebook groups give the average guy some sort of opportunity to meet women without getting rejected in real time. And as you heard in the opening clip, that didn't work out for this particular individual a few years ago. You see, that man got set up for a robbery through Tinder. And yes, We've heard about it all over the world. In fact, those things happen in Colombia. Guys get drugged. Brazil, guys get robbed. And sometimes, guys may lose their life. But now think about this, if you will. You don't know these people, right? And you're running the risk whenever you're going to someone's house or, you know, especially if you're not meeting in a public place. Online setup. A Memphis man robbed at gunpoint after meeting with a woman he discovered on a dating site online. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. WRG's Andrew Allison joins us live from the downtown police station tonight. And Andrew, was the man hurt? Yeah, thankfully no, but according to police, he was definitely taken advantage of. And tonight, investigators have a word of warning for everyone. This father is angry after police say his son was robbed at gunpoint. The robbers allegedly setting him up through an online dating site. Even low down. Even low down. His dad's so upset he prefers not to be identified. But really disgusting though, no sad thing. Investigators say the 19-year-old agreed to meet a woman who went by cashmere in the middle of the day, but when she came to his South Memphis home to pick him up, there were two other women and a man in the car. I wouldn't ever get in the car with all the people in the car. I wouldn't have. If I'm going to see a young lady and, and put me going with her and all these folks in the car, I would never get in there. But his son did. Investigators say they drove him to the area of North Perkins and Charleswood, where the man put a gun to his stomach. Told him, get out, give me what you got. Police say they took his phone, wallet, and $20 in cash before speeding away, leaving him on the side of the road. Thankfully, they didn't hurt him. Great piece of lie. Definitely, more definitely. Could have got hurt. They could have shot him. The incident happened last month, but investigators are still looking for the robbers, posting this picture of one suspect on social media. They believe she's the woman he met online. I'm hoping they fade justice. I'm hoping it'll be some justice, sir. Yeah. Yes. Nothing better to do than we'll play games, play tricks on you. But now, what if I were to tell you that it's somebody that you know, a friend that is trying to set you up? Yeah, a female friend, a friend in the friend zone. Would you ever believe that that can happen? I know that most of you guys could not conceive it. Your friends. Hmm, they love you. They appreciate you. You hang out. You do nice things for one another. And even the ladies that you know, you don't think that any of them would be so harsh to try something like that with you, right? <sighs> well, let's press play and find out. Well, a woman's call for help ends up being a trap. And now federal agents fear someone else may be next. Here's Alexa Ashwell with Maryland's Most Wanted. Investigators say this woman, Hope Freeman, pretended to need help with her car, but the request was actually a trap. And really waiting for the victim were two men who investigators say robbed, beat, and carjacked him. March 12th, 2023, a man is driving to meet his friend. She had called and said her car broke down here on Greenspring Avenue near Druid Hill Park in Baltimore. Ms. Freeman contacted her friend. She told him that her car had broken down and she needed him to come to the scene for help. But little did the man know, the call for help was actually a violent plot to steal by any means necessary. So this was a setup? U ultimately a setup. Investigators say that call for help came from this woman, identified as 43-year-old Hope Freeman. So he showed up thinking he was gonna provide Ms. Freeman with assistance. But when the victim pulled up, investigators say two men appeared armed and the man their target. 
So two armed accomplices showed up on scene, pulled them out of the vehicle and attempted to carjack. Investigators say the men attacked the victim, beating him and even attempting to put him in the trunk. The man miraculously able to escape their grip. So it was, it was by the luck of God that he's able to escape the situation and contact law enforcement. Investigators say they've not been able to identify the men, but the victim able to positively identify the friend he thought he was helping. So this individual showed up to be there for a friend. Instead, he was set up. Now there's concern the trio may strike again. Is there a concern that they may? So anytime a person is willing to set up a friend, there's no guarantees. There's nothing saying that they want to set up a stranger. Praying on those willing to lend a helping hand. So in this case, this behavior has demonstrated a clear propensity for violence. And so it is in the interest of public safety that this individual will be taken off the street. Take a good look. Freeman is described as standing at about 5'5 and weighing approximately 170 pounds. Investigators do believe she's likely still here in the Baltimore region, specifically is known to frequent West Belvedere and Park Heights Avenue. You see, guys, people used to call the manosphere and dating coaches toxic for refusing to be in the friend zone with women. And it was always debatable because you know what? Women who are you know, your friends, platonic friends, you know, they just add so much value. You don't have to have sex with everybody. That's what everyone says. I mean, I, and I can, I can agree with that. I have, you know, work colleagues and professional colleagues that are just friends, but think about that, if you will, even with your male friends, how many good things do you get from them? Beneficiary things with them. Do you get any beneficial things from your friends? Let's even look at the ladies, right? Because most ladies that you're friends with, you probably find some level of attraction too because the most guys will not get in their car and go help a lady that you just feel is unattractive typically you're trying to do so that quarter that sort of damsel and distress thing because hopefully that will get you cool points with her and that will get you closer to a date it will get you closer to a relationship you're proving yourself typically you wouldn't do something like that for somebody you felt that was unattractive but in this case, it got the guy robbed and almost put in the back of the trunk of his own car. If the guy would have just said no to being in the friend zone, he would have never had anything to worry about. If he would have been like, look, I want to date you, which that would have been a terrible decision because she probably still would have robbed him. But look, I'm not going to be in your life if X, Y, and Z is not going to occur because, you know, I like you and all of that. Maybe she would have had more respect for the guy in general, but she didn't. She had respect for those robbers. And that could be a danger for a guy being in the friend zone. And again, I'm not saying that every woman in the friend zone is going to rob you. I'm not saying that at all. Typically, it won't happen. But again, I still feel like you're wasting your effort dealing with somebody that has you in the friend zone when you could be using your time dealing with somebody that will not put you in the friend zone. Put your effort where it is appreciated. And I think a man like that or a guy like that you're gonna win every time when you take away your you know your time and your effort from those people who don't appreciate you and give it to those who do it only makes sense but guys what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of Celebrity Junk I really appreciate you for all that you do subscribe at the bell I'm out <laughs>